Yo, what's good? This your boy Jay Howard. Um, I want to talk about Dwayne Wade, Charles Barkley, and LeBron James. I know a lot of you guys are aware, probably aware, <laughs> of um, the little riff, so-called riff with Charles Barkley, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade. I'm a little shocked at Dwayne Wade. I wasn't shocked by LeBron's statement because LeBron is kind of... I like LeBron James. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say anything bad about him in that regard. I like LeBron James, but he has some finicky ways. You know what I mean? He has some ways by himself at times that I can be displeased with. What I'm talking about is the comments that Charles Barkley said about Dwayne Wade losing a step. I don't know if you guys heard that already, you know, what Charles Barkley was just explaining. And I have heard him say this on numerous occasions about people. You know what I mean? And sometimes, it, to be honest with you, I'm a Charles Barkley fan too. But Charles Barkley can rub you the wrong way sometimes. Sometimes Charles Barkley, he contradicts himself. He does that shit every Thursday night. But sometimes Charles Barkley can say things that's inappropriate at times because he's the type of person that speaks his mind. But I don't think the remarks he made about Dwayne Wade were really inappropriate. Me personally, despite Dwayne Wade over the last couple of games, he's been shooting good from the field. I think Dwayne Wade has lost a step too. You know, when Charles Barkley made that statement, LeBron James said that Charles Barkley needs to shut up. Well, the other night, this happened a couple of weeks ago, about a week or so ago. The other night, after the Minnesota Timberwolves game, Ernie Johnson was Miami versus the Timberwolves. The Miami won. It was interviewing Dwayne Wade. And Ernie Johnson asked him how did he feel when he heard about Charles Barkley saying that. And Dwayne was like, who? I don't know that name. What name are you talking about? What name is who? who? He was, you know, giving the impression he didn't want to talk about it or he not acknowledging Charles Barkley. Now, this is my take on it. If Dwayne Wade is following suit far as being mad about that, I think he's petty. On the other hand, I thought him and Charles Barkley was friends. You know, they did the T-Mobile commercial together. I thought, and I have heard him, like, call Dwayne Wade and stuff and play on TNT before. He did it, like, two or three times. And he always gave Dwayne Wade his props. And I want to know what you guys think about this because, to me, this is how I look at it. It's like when I watch ESPN, it's a lot of things that Skip Bayless and a lot of the commentators, Jalen Rose, Stephen A. Smith, Magic Johnson, John Barry, a lot of these guys say things that I don't agree with. You know what I mean? A lot of them say stuff sometimes that's inappropriate. They might be kind of seem kind of harsh. But it's, that's their job description. They are analysts. They give their opinion when they analyze things. You, you give them saying they analyze best when they give their opinion. I think if Dwayne Wade is truly mad at Barkley, I think it's petty. Because in reality, you're going to get older in basketball. You're going to look slower. The one thing I don't like about LeBron James is that LeBron James kind of took it too personal defending Dwayne Wade. I, I have heard Barkley say this before about Tim Duncan. I'm a diehard Spurs fan. I have heard him say things about Tim Duncan, Manuel Ginova Parker. They're too old. They're too old. They're too old. And every year... They win them in 60 games for the last three years. Since Barkley been saying that, the Spurs probably have won over the last three seasons probably almost 150 games. I mean, more than 150 games. You know what I mean? One thing Barkley was right about is when he said that Memphis was going to beat them. And last year when he said OKC was going to beat them. So you got to take what Barkley say. Some things he's going to be dead on with. Even when the Spurs were up 2-0 against OKC, Barkley said they're still going to lose. It's certain things Barkley is going to be right about, but it's certain things that he's going to say that he's going to be in left field with. And I don't think he was in total, total left field when he said Dwayne Wade is losing a step. Does that mean Dwayne Wade is not a productive player? See, this is, I noticed that with me, when I say certain things in my videos, it be mainly younger guys that really don't understand basketball that they hear what they want to hear, and they get offended real quick. They don't listen well. And in that case, I think LeBron James wasn't listening well. I think LeBron James really took that too personal. Barkley does have, like I say, it, it, if I had to weigh on both sides, like 
how should that be took it? I would have to say with Barkley. Because I know how Barkley is and I know what he meant by it. It doesn't mean Dwayne Wade is diminishing as a player. Losing a step would be like you know, Dwayne Wade has always been a, a guy that drives to the bucket a lot. He, he, he had ridiculous hops in his younger part of his career. He still can get up now when needed. But you can see, like, with certain layups and stuff, he don't have that lift anymore. Despite him being hurt, he just don't have the lift. Like, you, you can notice. He still can get up there, but you can notice that he probably had a 47-inch vertical. It's probably a 40 now. Or a 37. You get what I'm saying? Stuff like that, and that comes with age. I think that, um, you know, in that situation, LeBron, to me, if you listen to LeBron, I know you don't give a fuck about me. Man, don't let that stuff detour you on getting back to the finals, dude. Don't even start, they ain't even your character to really respond back out, especially at a big figure like Barkley. Don't even get into a shot match and, and having the camera and the spotlight on you because... From this point on, I don't know if you're aware of this, um, LeBron, they're going to keep bringing this up through the whole season now. You know what I mean? So you better be prepared. You and Dwayne Wade better be prepared for people to take punches in the interview because they want some juicy stuff now. So when you decide to make statements like that, be strong enough to take it, you know, because now you have created it. Now it's going to get thrown back in your face. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you think Charles Barkley was wrong for saying it. Do you think Dwayne Wade was wrong for taking it personal? Or do you think Dwayne Wade was really just saying he's not he's done with Barkley when he was talking to Ernie Johnson? And do you think LeBron James went overboard by assuming Charles Barkley was taking a poke at his teammate? Till next time I'm your boy Jay Howard. Peace.